the NBA is back, ladies and gentlemen. The Sacramento Kings and the Golden State Warriors teed off in preseason action last night. And we got to see DeMar DeRozan's debut. So I'm going to react to this video from the NBA channel. This may be copyrighted. Uh, it's for sure not going to be my size, okay? I just love watching game basketball, so I'd rather watch it with you guys. All right, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Had a month break on the beach, playing some golf, and now back to work as the head coach of the Warriors. And you're I will say, though, man... Um, I'm excited with how the bonus looked early on. He shot a transition dribble pull up, which I've never seen that before. It's complete failure if you don't come home with the gold. I think. And won three titles together. And he told us. Now, one thing I do, I do like about Demar Derozan though is this right here. So we're, we're able to get the pin down screen, not into a three now, but now we're able to get more into the teeth of the defense. Off the DHO to another screen right here, and Demar Derozan is one of the best mid range players in the league. So. This is going to be easy money for us. This is going to be our go-to. I only fear that this is going to stall De'Aaron Fox out if we try to focus on this too, too much, too early. But I respect it, though. Have him get his confidence, have the fans cheer his name, you know what I mean? It, 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 it all, it, it's all worth it. It all makes sense. Here's DeRozan with the pull-up jumper. <sighs> the master of the mid-range is on. Kaminga from deep. Won't fall. Rebound Sabonis led the NBA in rebounding the last two years. Changed his number. Uh, went back to number 11 as Fox scores. Turns 37 in March. Gives it up to Pachemski. Nice pass underneath. So see, that, like, something like that can't happen, right? So this is what I was worried about last night when I was watching it. Our three-point defense actually hasn't gotten better. But it's the preseason. It's first game preseason. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to overreact. But DeMar DeRozan gambling here puts us in, puts us in a tough spot. Anytime you gamble in basketball, put your team in a tough spot, especially if you don't succeed with the gamble. So we have here. So now DeMar DeRozan, we have two on Steph, right? Now DeMar's guys wide open. De'Aaron tries to run him off the line, but Brandon just steps to the left. DeMar DeRozan still in no man's land. Keon's going back to Steph. DeMar DeRozan still watching the ball. And the bonus is technically supposed to help here but technically DeMar DeRozan is supposed to already be there so this is not even De uh, Zabonis's fault this is DeMar DeRozan's fault here and that can't happen during the season we need those stops I'm right here look, 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 look. wait hey, wait I ain't never seen Zabonis do that before Positions up in the air, either Jackson Davis or Looney, but Draymond Green occasionally playing five perfect to the rim and scores off glass. How much of the action from the Sacramento Kings? Keegan Murray, man, we need to see another jump this year, just a little bit, which I think we'll get with him. I just hope the trade doesn't stunt his growth. You know, fans love what they're seeing offensively early on. When he wasn't in the lineup, they were 13 and 14. With him, 60% of their games they win. You know, it's not a mystery. Gotta say, it's a, oh my gosh. How do you make that? Steph Curry gets a second basket. You're talking about 13 straight years, four championships together. Steph Curry trying to draw the foul there, hurt us. That boy Steph is special, bro. You got Curry defending Sabonis now on the switch. <laughs> Green comes over to help. <laughs> May got away with a little chicken wing, dear. Musa Dagger know what Sabonis was doing already. An emphatic in preseason game number two. A signal by Draymond. Say what you want, bro. Draymond Green is phenomenal in his role. Everybody was mad at me when I said I would love to have Draymond on our team, bro. I'm telling you right now. A player like that. I'll be very surprised. Phenomenal. If this group is in top six. That's tough, Lee. My goodness. That's what Kurt timeline is. Mr. Monk going to work right there individually. I just, I'm curious what the final standings look like in the West in terms of win total and what that means. Email. Anthony Melton from deep. Bro, Warriors lost three. Clay, but gained even more shooters. Buddy Hill, D'Anthony Melton, uh, Brandon Pazewski, uh, what, Lindy Waters, that guy. They, they have shooters. Draymond Green sometimes, you know what I'm saying? He'll hit an occasional three. That's tough to Rosen. I think they'd like to shoot 53s. Last year, they averaged 48. They believe Andrew Wiggins is going to have a tremendous... So, I, 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 don't, I don't understand this part. I don't understand this part. We have we have three guys on Steph attacking the basket. So, he's attacking the basket. Mason Jones comes over and helps. I get that. DeMar DeRozan is supposed to basically help the helper, but there's no need here because we have De'Aaron Fox trailing. 
Alex Lynn on the side. Low key, Mason Jones doesn't have to be here. There doesn't have to be three on the ball in the situation in the paint when we have Alex Lynn who's seven feet and then De'Aaron Fox trailing. Mason Jones should go right back out to Gary Payton and then DeMar DeRozan's playing with two people here. It, it will limit the scramble opportunity. The average 48. They believe Andrew Wiggins is going to have a tremendous year offensively. They'll lean in. Again, I'm excited to see Kaminga play this year. This His first game as a king, and he's 5 of 5 from the floor. Where they're getting downhill, and they're touching the paint. Anyway, like I said, let's not forget, Draymond used to knock, knock that down consistently. He's trying to get downhill and get off the dribble. Fox tries to go again there. Here's DeRozan. Oh, yeah, that's, again, that's a three for if, 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 DeRozan. Yeah, yeah. If we can get DeMar to hit that three consistently. Well, I mean, not consistently. If, if, he, if we can get him to take that three consistently. Another gamble. Hurt. That's the third triple, and Curry's got 11 points here in the first half. Gets you. Those matter. This is what we're talking about when we say this guy is the hub. Easy money. The deck and a hard lane screen. Monk was wide open and knocked it down. And we'll get you an update when we have it. Mason Jones surprised me. I never really got to watch him play a lot, uh, but after last night, I can see that he can he can go a little bit. Mind you, we have Kevin Herter out. That's nasty. <laughs> we have Kevin Herter out. We have Trey Lyles out. We have Jordan McLaughlin out. So the minutes for him to find are going to be pretty tough. But I think he may be able to find some minutes where we have some injured guys or some guys taking a rest game or whatever the case may be. You're nine for Sabonis. Third full season with Sacramento. Gosh, I love the Anthony Mellon's game. Come on, folks. That's not easy for Keegan Murray defensively. Did an excellent job. Now Fox. Come on! The harm by Steph and an and one for De'Aaron Fox. They can spread the floor and shoot the ball. Yeah, De'Aaron was chilling last night. I didn't really expect much from him, though. I did expect a lot from him. Oh, boy, he shot our face off yesterday. Wish he, wish he could have done that with us more often. Consistently. But the thing with this game, I knew Zabonis and DeMar were going to kind of come out aggressive because it's the Warriors. And DeMar is his first game in Sacramento, so he wants to see no fun of this show. And Buddy Hield, of course, I knew he was going to come here. Every time he plays us, he's going to try to go super, super hard, no matter if it's preseason or not, because of how the Sacramento Kings fans treat him. It looks fluid! Zabonis! You like that? Like, how, no, no communication. How does that happen? Two go to the cutter? Two go to the cutter. That's crazy. Yeah, D. Ha! Huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the first half, the way, I mean, based on the first half, when I think we did a pretty good job. You know, I, I wasn't super happy with our defense, but our offense looked pretty solid, of course. Our offense always going to look solid. It's really our defense they have to worry about here. You know? Because the Warriors aren't really like a, a top three team in the West, right? So what what is it going to look like defensively if we're playing the Mavericks, if we're playing the Nuggets, if we're playing uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves? Do you know what I mean? Like teams like that where it's like if if we're not having a good defensive night but a great offensive night, but they're having a good defensive and offensive night in a way, like they're, they're forcing us to tough shots and we're making tough shots. I, I know their defense isn't ever going to be bad, you know? Like, they're always going to have solid defense. Like, we have a lot of lapses that we got to face. That's, that's one thing I'm super scared about for the season. Because that's the, that's the difference between, you know what I mean? Good God, buddy. Buddy was hooping. Like, that's the difference between a two-point win and a three-point loss. You know what I'm saying? A couple a game of possessions. Very important. Very important. Teammate of Bronny James, obviously Bronny's presence with the Lakers a big story. Gal? What? The first father son combination in NBA history by Gary Payton. Here's Melton who had a really good first half in his Warriors debut. And he came to the got Kyle Anderson. And so yeah, Melton's got four trips. Where's the solid, bro? They, they're going to be a sleeper. They'll be a sleeper top eight. I mean, shoot, technically, the way we're built, we'll probably be a sleeper top six. 
versus how fast Steph Curry gets I can back. easily see us falling to the top eight again and playing in the playing in the play play sadly. We just don't have enough defense. The catch and shoot, but the slow mo nickname is appropriate. Yep. And he embraces it. Oh, yeah. Tough milk. As Melton hits again on the turnaround. And one key player, Doris, Andrew Wiggins, in that run defensively. Not available tonight. He's been under the weather, so he is not. I love that chest action there, man. The this right here, I, I love this play. Basically, Mo Moody would have set DeAnthony Milton down screen. And now DeAnthony Milton's coming off of a kind of a chest action here where now Looney's setting him a screen for the flare. And then what happens here is is if, let's say, let, they've ran a few times in the scene. I don't know if you guys noticed it. But let's say DeAnthony Milton doesn't, doesn't get the ball here. You see Buddy Hill coming off that pin down screen on that other side. So now if this is not, if DeAnthony Milton's not open, you have Buddy Hill potentially being open right there for a three. But if we help too much, then you have Kyle Anderson flashing to the mid post, catching the ball, working within 10 feet. It's really a hard defense to guard. Andrew Wiggins in that run defensively. Not available tonight. He's been under the weather, so he is not. Three point defense. Until this week is gotta be, gotta be think, a point of emphasis. Know, there's more that goes into it. But mm. I remember Jeff Van Gundy talking about this all the time. Sometimes there's a little luck involved. How healthy are you? New coach Mike Budenholzer takes over for Frank Vogel. I think they're going to win an awful lot of regular season games and be yes. well positioned. Yes, Moody. Moody in the Shot clock at three. Isaac Jones drives and finishes. There's that potential that Aaron yeah. told us about pregame. Now a member of the Dallas Mavericks. He will return to Chase Center for the first time November 12th. Ah. Basket and one, so the old-fashioned three-point chance here for Guy Santos. Bring it on three minutes to go. These teams will play in the preseason again in a couple of nights up in San Francisco. And you know what's crazy about this whole thing? They made a they 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 hit a franchise record, 28 threes, in the preseason. So it doesn't count as an actual record breaker. But do you understand how crazy that is? In the preseason, you break your actual franchise record in threes. When you've had Steph and Clay for, for for over a decade, wait, has it been a decade? Yeah, yeah, over a decade, insane. Off the bench for Sacramento. Nice move by Isaac Jones. So Isaac Jones, I, I don't, I what I watched last night didn't didn't necessarily move the needle. But it's his first game, so I think he'll be just fine. I think we drafting him more so for a defensive presence, which his wingspan is crazy. So we'll get to see a lot more of him in the preseason. You know, can't really tell too much off the first game. At, at, all in all, it's the first game, ladies and gentlemen. So there's really not much to talk about rather than just react and talk about our hopes and what we expect for the season. You know, first game, though, we get Anthony Edwards. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that. That's going to be special. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you guys. Hit that like button and subscribe, man. NBA basketball is back. Peace.